the hell is going on? What happened? Hi Andromeda, hey man. Do you get the response from the organizers? Let me quickly check it. Nothing. Okay. Alright guys, blank in this title Tuesday. Not sure if I do well, but we're just gonna try it, yeah. Some impressive people playing, as usual. Ah, you need to feed the idea. Uh -huh. Look how many guys at 2900 here. Um, hi, Double Reverse. Thank you. Hi, Anish. Thank you, guys. Um, all right. Um, I don't know if you can play without feeder ID, man. But you do need feeder rating, man. Um, you should have feeder ID. Can you can you do the search on the feeder website? If you have a uh, Andromeda, do a search on the feeder website. You should have a, an idea. Thank you, Mr. Soren, for cheering. Uh, thank you, thank you, Anish, for cheering as well. All right, who is this guy? Super FM. What is that? Sergey D D D D D D. All right. You know, played in the USCF tournament. If you played in any USCF tournament, they should be federated. Uh, period. Um, any 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 USCF tournament, like ever, then you should have uh, feeder rating um, so just just check through the database maybe you do have something This can't be good, man. This can't be good. You're tripping.
Maybe he's okay, yeah? Maybe. Maybe he's okay. Uh... Do I want to go into the technical side of the game? Probably not. Is there any dangerous? I don't see any. I don't see any dangerous. Maybe there are. But I don't see right now. Probably not good, but okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay, um, let's see this. A 
will be 21 next week. Mark wants you to wait. Um... Hi guys. Hi Mr. White Knight. 93% accuracy. Wow. From FM, yes. Alright. I'm very, very tempted, but okay, fine. C4 first, E5. Bishop H2, Bishop G5 is okay. Alright, so he did make a mistake, but okay. Rook D7. Ah, b6, okay. Yeah, I thought about b6. Probably should have played, yes, okay. Takes away the c7 square from the black rook. Going after the spawn. Knight c4 immediately. Alright, I played this. 97, first line. He plays strange move, second line. Alright, what did I miss here? Oh, just castle. What did I do? I played knight c4 and he plays knight b6, yeah? And I should have castle again. Yeah, I gave him this uh, outpost on b6, which was very strong for him, of course. So, castling and then knight e5, knight c4, and now is... Uh, 95 stronger, correct. 95 again stronger, but I missed I missed this king d7. All right. All right. We're getting a lot of stronger fans today. What does it mean? Play safe. We don't want to run into a super FM today. Play safe. Gotta, gotta play safe. We gotta play safe. Hello, Grizzly. Yes, it is a draw always, regardless where the king is cut off. It is always a draw. But you still can torture people, so they still need to know how to get the draw. It's not like the easiest draw ever. The trick is knight g4, queen h6 if he plays f4. So this is a smart move probably. Um, Where is this guy from? Hungary? Okay. I'm already starting to suspect some things. Okay. The suspect is starting. 
The suspicions are running wild. Um, Okay, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to pin you. Um. gonna be Zugzwang because your knight or your rook your king one day will have to move and that means you're gonna lose something yeah the way he played the end game was just uh, my god my god he just played like a freaking 1500 in the end game. The way he played in the middle game and the way he played in the, in the end game was just so terrible. Hi, Mr. Gregor. Thank you for your donation. Thank you, Mr. RJ Letter. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Pierre Bezukhov, for your cheering. Yes, I mean, my God. It's not torture, it's just, uh, just collapse by white. Well, I mean, how many people would... I mean, he played okay until... Um, I mean, rook d2 was probably not the best move. Let's check it out, right? Um, where was it? I mean, I... Uh, you know, black is always fine in the end game. That's why I traded the queens. He still, he played with a 94% accuracy, which is... Uh, which is not bad. Um, 
So rook e7 or b5, I should not be worried about this knight of 4 anyway. I was I was thinking about queen h5, but I was worried about bishop e5 and g4. I couldn't find the refutation for that. But apparently there was it because queen h6 and queen h6 and rook e2, right? Okay, I missed that. Alright, I missed that. Uh, so I play queen h6 and immediately white is better, but... But... It's the end game, right? It's the end game. Um, so bishop d4, already advantage black. I play safe, right? Still advantage white, but it's minuscule. b6, rook d2, and bishop f5, knight c3. Oh, h5, of course. h5. h5 preventing g4 in the first place. Yes, because g4 and f4 is something that white wants to do. I played knight d7. He should have played g4 or f4 here, but instead... You see the evaluation, right? He basically blundered in one move. I'm pretty sure he wanted to play knight d3. But then, of course, you play bishop d3, and uh, but then it's completely different than game, right? I mean, black is better, but, uh, but it's like... It's, 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 it's very close to a draw, because just... There's no way for black king to get to the queen side here. You probably want to trade the rooks. And then go king f6, try to go g5, king on e5, but white puts the, knight, the king on e3, and um, it's, it, it looks like a draw. But obviously black is pressing. Alright, but he just blundered uh, completely. So maybe a mouse snip also. Um, okay, um, I don't know guys. Um, Mr. Jill... Hi. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah. Yeah, guys, sorry. I slept maybe like five hours today. Yeah, I couldn't I, I couldn't believe how many how many guys with the you know, I had so many in, in, in ridiculous supports in my League of Legends games. Um uh, the latest was um, the latest was uh, Volibear. Maybe he is a good support, maybe, but I I, I don't think uh, I've seen many Volibears using support. And then he proceeded to be one nine, and just feeding the crap out of my opponent's ADC. And I was like, shit. Oh my god. And then stuff like that happens. All right. Um. Yes, simplifying against Capablanca is... Uh, there is a famous anecdote. When somebody recognized him on the train and offered him to play the game, and he asked him for the odds, and Capablanca says, yeah, the last pieces I have, the easiest is to play. And he, he proceeded to beat the crap out of that opponent um, until he was left with basically nothing. Uh, of course, it's an anecdote. No, we don't know how much of that is true, but... You know, that, that kind of thing, uh, that uh, the response uh, is a kind of like Capablanca's um, suits his character, I think. He was a little bit arrogant, but he was, uh, you know, he was um, a world champion after all. Um, yeah. Live? Live what? Well, what, what do you want from me, man? Live what? What do you want live? <sighs> Alright, Mr. Jill is gonna make me crazy one day. Um, Mr. Jill, are you using Google Translate? I think Google Translate is not bad. I recommend if you want to translate into English. It's actually not bad at all. I'm playing international master from Turkmenistan. Why? Right. Does he have a name? Where's his name? Where is this guy's name? How do I know which exactly Turkmenistan dude are you, man? 
they should be having their names in in their profiles if they're playing title tuesday my god because it could be any 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 it could be any turkmenistan player yeah they have like a bunch of uh, grandmasters there i don't know how I have no idea, I never counted how, exactly how many Grandmasters Turkmenistan has, but I'm pretty sure they do have more than one. Um, maybe somebody can do research on how many chess Grandmasters Turkmenistan has. That would be cool. Alright, so Queen C7. Um, is that knight going to G4 or something? I don't know, A4. Standard, right? You guys know everything. You know how I play. Give me some squares. I like those squares. Okay. What is this queen f4 all about? What is this queen f4? It's a very strange move. Seems legit, yeah? This guy maybe is a genuine international master. He gives me so many freaking tempies. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, but this can't be good for black. This cannot be good, man. I mean, you guys see the difference between his knights and my knights, right? I mean, isn't that pretty obvious? Hello, knight on d2. You're a long way from home. Alright, so that looks like a genuine international master, actually. Um... Yes, but Mr. Jill is from Russia, and he likes uh, vodka and uh, violence and all that stuff. Oh. Yeah, okay, so he was nice, I guess. Um, yes, yeah, so, you know, we do give Russians some slack here in this channel. Yeah, so I think I think he he, he yeah, eighty four percent accuracy, ninety nine percent accuracy from me for real. Are you sure? All right, that's pretty good, right? Um, so d five is bad. Yes, I know that. Because now white is just better, not much, but you know it's always pleasant to play against this bishop when it's completely locked by these two pawns. So he actually played some second line moves, probably a4 looks reasonable. Now queen f4, of course, very very strange move. Yeah, expected rook e8 or something with a slow torture. After queen f4, queen b3, the slow torture became fast torture. Yeah. Knight. Yeah, he should have played king d7, but yeah. So knight d6 probably not the best move. 
Okay, guys, A5 here was best objectively because you ruined the structure, right? You forced black to do something about the structure. I, I didn't see knight h4. Knight h4 is the kind of move that can get you banned because it's an obvious engine move, right? It's a very, very obvious engine move. So knight d6, and he made a very big mistake here. He played queen a6, and after queen b5. Okay, so b4 was winning immediately. I didn't see that. Knight e5, second line. But this was there, definitely bad. Yeah, knight h5 was okay. Knight h5 was okay. Still large advantage for white, but after this... Rook e2 just wins the knight immediately. But knight c6, I think, is just as good, to be honest. Yeah. Alright, so this is a tortuous position for black. That's why I like to play this line. It's very, very safe for white. And if black wants to do something, he should play like Fabiano did against me in Bundesliga. He played, I think he played knight d7, h6, knight h5, something. It was a mess. But uh, because, you know, this is a completely different structure from London system. This is more like Benoni type position. So I turned out to be in the unfamiliar territory and I lost the, that game. It was a remarkable game though. Not a shame to lose. Alright. Uh, well, the reason there are not a lot of Russians in this tournament is because they are playing currently the Russian Championship Super Final. And Fedosev beat Dubov, my god. And Karyakin beat Artemiev. Damn. Yeah, it's important for Artemiev to get his... Um, I don't like B5. Yeah, this is definitely not the line to be recommended. Yeah, don't play this line for black. This is just bad line. You don't play this line against Karakin, okay? Yeah, you have to realize, like, which lines you can play and which lines you cannot play against certain people. You have to take into account your opponent's uh, psychology and uh, the best... Um, um, Okay, and this is basically a large advantage for whites, and black is toasted, yeah. And Vlad managed to blunder knight of five. He blundered in one move. He was down to the one minute, though. Yeah, okay, this is a very tough position to defend with your king open. Easy to blunder rook e6, followed by rook g6, and it's just game over. Queen c2, the idea of queen c8 was winning immediately, but Karakin wins the pawn. An extra pawn in the Super Grandmaster tournament is equivalent to winning. Alright. Alright, so that was that game. Um, round 3. I have successfully reconnected. Okay, that's good. I remember this guy. He was among the Super FMs last time I played him. Um... Uh, yeah, but Fedosev's Fede strength is that um, Fedosev's strength is that he is also a very dynamic player. He likes those kinds of positions, all right? He likes those kinds of positions. Um, yeah, last time he played this line also. Okay. Just gonna play this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just shuffling pieces around. I feel like it was knight, a good knight transfer to e6. Try to take control of d4 square. He's preparing d4, obviously. 
This knight belongs on b8 to be honest, but on e7 I can play. I don't see why not. Damn it. Damn it. Oh crap, he trapped my queen. Oh shit. Alright, I reported him once before. I'm gonna report this son of a gun again. I'm gonna report this.
I reported him before. Ninety six percent accuracy from FM. It doesn't matter. FMs don't play like that. FMs don't play like that, okay? Okay, maybe bishop b7 I should have played. The idea of bishop b7, if he puts a knight on d5, I trade this knight immediately. First line, yeah? He plays first line moves, guys. He plays first line, there's impossible for FM, okay? To be so freaking consistent. Rook c1, third line. Yeah, he's enjoying himself. He's definitely enjoy, enjoying himself. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any breathing room. That's the problem. I don't have any breathing fucking room. Knight c6, first line. Guys, how many of you will play knight c6 here? Okay, third line, doesn't matter. You know, knight takes f6 and knight d5 looks very human, right? Knight c6, it doesn't look human. Yes, of course he missed knight b6. Yes, I understand that he missed knight b6, but okay, at this point it doesn't matter because it's pretty obvious to me what's going on. It's pretty freaking obvious. And what is the most amazing thing that how immediately he spots this bishop h5, all right? I haven't seen this, but he spots it immediately. He spots this move immediately. Um, unbelievable. Rook f6 was the only chance, but it is losing, of course. He spots this bishop h5 and queen a2 right away, and he traps my queen. All right, this is first line move, obviously, yeah? So the guy plays first, second, third line moves. I mean, this guy is pretty obvious. Pretty obvious. It's very obvious, guys. Uh -oh. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but, you know, it's, it's, it's just so ridiculous. You know, I'm out of the tournament simply because of a guy like this, yeah? 
I'm just out of the tournament. Just simply because of a guy like this. Мистер Джилл, посмотрите, как он играет. Он играет строго по первой, второй, третьей линии. Строго. Слон h5 он сразу увидел, да? Там поимку ферзя, вот это вот, то, что я вообще не видел. Но он строго играет по первой, третьей линии. Это невозможно для FM играть так вот. Поймите. Просто невозможно. FM они делают ошибки. Этот человек просто играет строго по первой, второй, третьей линии. Хорошо? Он читер просто. Я ему уже написал как-то раз, что мне не стыдно вот так вот использовать engine, да, чтобы так выигрывать. Хрен, пофиг. Таким людям им абсолютно пофиг, окей? Им пофиг. Им главное у меня выиграть, а другим им можно просрать просто все партии. Но главное у меня выиграть, да? Вот я ненавижу вот таких вот русских вот. Две тысячи триста семьдесят. Здесь он играл как три тысячи, хорошо? See, strong grandmasters like Alexei Shirov, he blunders the pin that he loses the bishop on h4, but this FM, he doesn't blunder anything. Anything. All right. It's enough. It's on his consciousness. На вашей совести, мистер Сапунов. Будет. Я уже вас редепортировал раньше, Ческов не обратил внимания. Надеюсь, сейчас они обратят внимание. Guys, Hikaru, you cannot compare Hikaru, who is the top grandmaster in the world, who is 20, uh, I don't know, 7, whatever he is. He was 2800 at some point, right? There is no, 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 no comparison. The guy works with the computers, he is a top world player. You're supposed to be playing at 98% accuracy when you're top player in the world, right? But this guy, he is a fam, he's not even an international master, and he consistently plays the first, second, third line in Blitz computer. As as the uh, the first, second, third line uh, according to the engines, yes. Consistently, he makes no mistakes. That's ridiculous. That's uh, that's obvious too, right? That's pretty obvious. I don't I, I don't know why he is still not banned on Leech uh, on this uh, on the server. I already I already reported him before. To me, it was very obvious. Okay, he is not banned. Fine. Why? Because he's losing other games. He all he has to do is just to beat me. Yeah, that's like this Russian mentality thing. You know, you have this, uh, you have this guy, right? You're really jealous of, and you want to crush him at any cost, and then you can just lose the rest of the games. Yeah, that is the freaking Russian mentality. I I'm telling you guys. They do get banned, Mr. Uh, what is your name? They do get banned, Mr. Undercooked Chicken. They do get banned, trust me. They do get banned. Some get banned sooner, some get banned later, but most of them do get banned, okay? Just a matter of time and enough evidence. Plus, some of these guys, they're very hard to catch because, you know, they beat me on purpose. And then they just lose the rest of the games. Because they've done their mission, they beat me, right?
you don't understand this. This is this, um, something with the rational psychology, the rational mentality. All right. I cannot explain to you. Yeah, it just pisses me off all the time. Because I'm this uh, still freaking famous Russian uh, grandmaster, yeah? And especially if he's the same age as me, right? And he's not successful in chess, guess what? Extra motivation. Yeah, yeah. She you, she need to take on uh, this bishop. I don't I don't understand what she did. I understand what she did. Um, right, ninety five, looks good. I actually know this person. I played here in the tournament game. Live. Okay, guys, everybody is entitled to their opinion, all right? So leave, uh, let these guys talk. I mean, it's not dictatorship, right? I voice my opinion, people voice their opinion. They have complete right to do that. Um, should I grab this bishop? I kind of want to keep my bishop. I like my bishop. I think my bishop is good. I don't like your bishop. I think my bishop is better than your bishop. For real. Because my bishop is cooler. Well, this pawn on the other hand is very yummy. Um, I will take this pawn. It is a nice pawn to have. Um, No, we don't blunder mates here. We try not to, at least. More pawns.
Yeah, guys, okay, okay, he's correct. I shouldn't be so angry. I shouldn't be as... actually saying he's actually cheating, but I just get so freaking angry. I mean, as a grandmaster, I know that I know what's going on. I cannot prove it. That's a completely different story. All right, I cannot prove it. That's that's the whole problem. The problem is proof. That is the problem, guys. To me, it's bloody obvious, okay? To me, it's bloody obvious. If you give the, some other title players uh, to see this game, they would probably agree. It's the only it's a matter of agreement if some someone thinks it's 97% um, uh, agreement or it's 95% agreement or 92% agreement, right? But I, I am, I have, I'm. I'm 99.999999% person, uh, percent sure that my colleagues, if they see this game, if they're title players with, uh, with some decent experience of play, they would all agree with me 90% above probability that this is, uh, the, you know, that's what I think, all right? I'm pretty sure that all my colleagues, if we ask him, if we ask him to look at this game, you know, they, they would give you a 90% probability answer that uh, I'm correct. The problem is, you know, no proof. Guys, okay, he could play this like this once. Okay, that's true, but he he already beat me before in the same same style, okay? But he now did it again. Again. So you're saying he already had uh, two games of his life with a 96% of uh, accuracy? For real? All right, then we should uh, ask him like what's the lottery number on the next uh, grand lottery, right? We all become millionaires, right? Let's pull together. Let's ask him for the winning numbers on the lottery. Why don't he give us a winning uh, lottery numbers of his career? Okay. Chat that common analysis is good enough, trust me. Alright, it's good enough to beat any grandmaster in the world. You know, the engine maybe is weak, but it's good enough to beat any strong grandmaster in the Blitz game. It is good enough, alright? Just, just, just don't, don't, don't even start. You know, if, if, if the mobile phone, which is like, the least amount of CPU there, you know, if the program on the mobile phone can beat the Grandmaster and people caught um, with the mobile phones, they are banned from the tournament, right? Imagine what, what uh, you can do with the CPU and uh, with the engine, you know. The engine on chess.com is enough to beat anybody, including Magnus Carlsen. If you use the engine against Magnus Carlsen, probably, you'll probably score, I would say, at least 7 out of 10 games versus him in the Blitz game. At least 7 out of 10. Let's be conservative. Let's see the improvements. Let's see the improvements. E5 immediately. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked at this in ages. Um, I think they play rookie one first. Okay, this is interesting. I don't know. Um, maybe. Maybe it looks good. 
Where is my queen supposed to go? I don't know. That's that's the problem. The problem is with my queen, yes. Um, where should it go? Difficult question. Queen b6 looks interesting enough. Question is how fast do you get your bishop to where you want it to be? How fast do you get that bishop there? I mean I'm I'm ready to take this pawn next move. I don't see what is the problem with this. I don't see the problem. Okay. Knight d5, bishop d5, probably anything, I don't know. Probably bishop d5. Hmm. Okay, my rook is unprotected, yeah. Ninety four, huge threat, you have to protect against it. How do you do that? Alright, okay four. Ninety five now is a huge threat. Okay, I guess I can try it like this. Okay, I misplayed it. Alright, I misplayed it, guys, again. Ah, uh, crap.
was completely winning. Now it's probably draw. Now it's very probably draw. Bad move, really bad move. Damn it. Now it's simple. Now it is very simple. No, yeah, not quite simple. play this okay all right um Okay. Yes, you Yes, you have to make sure you're very active. Let's see the accuracy of this guy. It should be much slower. See? 83%. How many mistakes? 5. Blunders 4. Inaccuracy 8. Now that is a that is an FM, okay? Advantage black. Um 92, 95, rookie 1, same shit, right? 90, 92, 96, a5, a4. Alright, so what did I miss? Bishop f6 immediately, yeah, I thought so, okay. Um, a3 is probably stronger, but bishop f6 is okay. Okay, I have another game, sorry. No time to look at these guys. Um, all right, this guy is the grandmaster. All right, that's fine. This guy is the grandmaster. I mean, those of you who think I'm reporting everybody, I do not report everyone. I report those people I I think are suspects. Okay, I try to be fair. It doesn't happen all the time, but I do try to be fair. actually caught Ali Reza on one of such ideas. Um, 
in the World Rapid uh, Blitz Championship. Um, the idea is knight f4, g5, and then the bishop and the knight is on, under attack. So knight e2, g6 loses the knight, right? So knight g2, king f1, bishop h3, king g1, and then bishop g3. And that bishop on h3 and knight on g2 are sort of trapped. So now he has to think, because if knight g7, g5 loses a piece, but otherwise he has to take on d2 and give me a pair of bishops, including his very, very good bishop on uh, dark squared bishop. So let's see how he responds. All right, so he did, he does find it. Okay, good. Good for him. But now white has a very deadly attack, of course, right? This attack is very, very deadly. Especially if my knight gets to g5, like, ever. It's going to be a big problem for black. It's going to be a huge problem for black. This is probably correct. Okay, and if bishop d3, then f6 or something. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Alright, there are several ways to play this. Which one should I choose? He's gonna go for f6 probably, yeah. Alright, queen h6 was impulsive. Queen h6 was a very impulsive move, I agree. Yeah, he should have played knight b3, of course. I'm not sure why he didn't. Oh my god, no. I didn't want to play that. Damn it.
All right. Um, why I played b4, b5? I needed to get the. Um, All right, let's see it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Okay, I just play. Uh, sometimes I play move I cannot understand myself. Okay. So let's see this knight h5, bishop h2. All right. Um, so g4 is first line, right? Okay, good. Remember this trick, okay? This is an important trick. Otherwise, he just plays knight f4, and you're you're not better. But after this, you're definitely better. Queen h6, knight e4. All right, so I should. I saw this, but I, I didn't. I didn't know what to do against this. Um, and then you just simply castle. And then what? Rook f7, rook e1, queen b6. All right, this is not so simple. Why is it so clearly winning for white? It's not clearly winning. All right, so 92, queen a5 was very strange, but okay. I think h4 is reasonable. He wants to play e5. Oh, h6. Uh, queen h6, what? Queen h6, what? Okay, h5 and queen h6 was winning, wow. Yeah, I think I think I did well, but then I blundered knight b3 and black is winning. Uh, knight b3 is actually draw, yeah? Oh, wait, why is knight b3 uh, okay for me? Because after queen h6... Oh, it's a draw. Oh, it's winning for white after queen h6, and if he takes here... Okay, bishop a5 wins immediately, but the bishop d4, knight d4... It's still advantage to white, yeah? Wow, okay, so he played knight c4. Ah! f3 immediately, so I don't open his f file. Okay, 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 I see. Right, that's correct. And now I was winning by d5. Of course, d5, you protect the bishop with the pawn, and if he plays this, and you play queen h6. My god. Guys, I am blind, okay? I am blind. I, I didn't see this bishop protecting the pawn. Very bad. And now black is okay. Yeah, I know. I just got really lucky that he uh, made a mistake. Still not an easy position for him to play, yeah? Yeah, he, he trusted me, he should not have trusted me, but okay. Yeah, queen e4 is a big blunder, of course. Um, yeah, so he has to take on f5 and play rook f5, uh, and, and that... Yeah, he had to play this line, I was worried about this. Because no more attack for me, he has three pawns uh, for the bishop, but I have no attack and my king is very, very open. And I think... Good chances for black to win this position, because, you know, in time scramble, very good chance for black to win this. Okay. Guys, where do you want to play rook takes h7? Where exactly at the end? Yes, knight b3, queen h6, man. That's why we just looked at it, right? And then black has to play knight takes d4. And then after h6, with the idea of bishop e5, black is still worse. Uh, but yes, uh, he should have played it. I agree. And I should have played queen h6 first. Uh, and what worry about knight d4 because of bishop e5? Uh, indirect protection of mate. And then just the uh, h-file just kills black. So h4, h5 was very, very strong. Yeah, very strong idea. All right. Uh, instead of... Um, ah, okay. That... Um, okay, let's see it. I don't know. Um, oh. Wait, I'm playing another Azeri guy. I'm playing another Azeri guy. Oh, but uh, that was the Turkish guy, right? Okay. They do have the uh, same language, basically. You don't need passport uh, to travel to Turkey or Azerbaijan from uh, each other. That's very nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can have my bishop. Congrats. Oh, you don't want my bishop. Oh, how sad. How very sad. Hmm. Alright, interesting way for black to play this. Definitely very interesting. Hmm. Well, black is tied up a little bit, right? My bishop on h4 is tying up his knight on f6 and rook on d8. His bishop on g7 is not really that great, so I, th I would say advantage white. Pair of bishops, I control a lot of squares. Um, Unpleasant position for black, I think. Say pretty unpleasant. Maybe he can survive this though. Probably he does.
Good evening, Mr. Elvis. Uh, welcome to the club and to the world of playing chess. Yes. Um, all right. Um, why don't I stream at high resolution? My DSL only allows me as much as I can stream it. Yes, uh, correct, Mr. Whistler. Hello, Mr. Duck. All right. Let's see if I miss something or I could play stronger somewhere. This international master plays with a 2900 rating, right? You guys see this, yeah? He is 2900 on chess.com. He is international master. And he plays at 45% accuracy. What does it tell you? Alright, yeah, you should play e3 here, I agree. Yeah, falling for knight h5 is not good. Ah, okay. And bishop h4 here, or e3, and um, yeah, bishop h4 is very interesting. Again, bishop h4, same idea, yeah? Unfortunately, I hit on this idea only much later. Yeah, bishop h4 pro probably gives white some advantage, but um, yeah, he should have taken on g3 and played e5. That's the whole point behind his setup. He gets two bishops. Ah, I have knight f3 and queen d5. That's my devious plan behind bishop b5 and putting his bishop on d7, so the queen is disconnected from this pawn. So I actually had played some devious uh, trap. All right, I didn't realize that. Bishop h4, finally I hit on the first line move. And he had to play bishop f6, correct. You have to trade this bishop, guys. If you want to equalize, I think that was very close to equal. Because after this, this doesn't look right. c4 immediately is strong, but... Um, but even this position is, you know... b6. c4 immediately, very, very strong. Bishop b5, queen a3 first line, okay, I like it, queen d7, and this is bad, uh, this is actually bad because, um, not because of this, but because he could have played bishop f8, and then bishop d6, I think, ah, then bishop e5, which I didn't see, alright, I thought it was very, very strong, okay, but this is definitely, yeah, c4 was much stronger, of course, b4 was also very strong, a5 is inaccuracy because he could have taken on a5 for sure. He should have taken on a5. But he just blundered the whole piece. And if an, if, an, if your opponent gives you a whole piece, you just take it. All right, you don't complain. c4, correct. And queen a5. And that's how you save the bishop because his rook is unprotected. All right, so no complaints about my play here. I think I played well. So let's see what's going on. I'm actually sharing... My god, look how many people there are with six, uh, with seven out of eight. Twelve people, my god. Um, fantastic, yeah? Fantastic number of people. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jode Muhammad is rating with a party of 14. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Mr. J uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name correctly. Um... um uh, thank you, Mr. Pierre Bezucha, for cheering. Yes, he had a bad game. Um, all right, that is true. So, Mr. Jode Mohammed. Uh, Knight h5 was important. Yes. Uh, they already won the title Tuesday. I don't think I won it ever. I, I think I shared first place sometimes. Have you played Naka yet? No, I haven't played Naka yet. I hope I don't play Naka because uh, last time I played Naka, I blundered him a bishop in a completely winning position. Some of you guys probably remember that game. That was very, very painful. I was like plus three in the opening after eight moves in London system because he completely misplayed it. And then I ruined the whole thing by blundering a whole bishop. And then, of course, you can resign. Yes. Я тоже так думаю, мистер Пьер Безухов. Я тоже так думаю. Alright, thank you, Mr. Giga, for uh, your support. Um, 
Yeah, that was uh, that was a very unfortunate game because if I had won that game, I would probably ha would have won the title Tuesday. But because I lost that game, <laughs> I blundered the whole bishop. I was like, Ugh, you know. Um. Oh, but that that game which I beat him uh, was uh, basically Arena King, which was like two or three years ago. My God, that's ancient history, guys. Don't 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 look at that. Yes, but you see, guys, it's still nice. You know, 517 title players are playing in the tournament, and yours truly is still somewhere in the top uh, 13, right? It's nice, no? I mean, there are so many youngsters playing in this event, so many talented kids, and yet yours truly, despite uh, the fact that I'm not studying chess, yeah, I'm just uh, streaming with you guys, although admittedly, you guys keep me in shape, right? I have to admit it. So thank you very much, guys, for keeping me in shape. Although during those simuls, right, we're playing arena tournaments, we're playing simuls, we're playing sometimes stream battles. So you guys are keeping me in shape. Um, yeah. Um, I will win some title Tuesday. I don't care about winning title Tuesday, gentlemen. I don't care. I care that I play good chess, right? I, I, I practice what I preach. I always telling you guys, don't go for winning, go for quality. If you play quality chess, the wins will come. All right? If you if you if you're improving your game, if you're constantly working in it, the wins will come. Thank you for your uh, cheering, Mr. Brickskid. Um, all right, uh, limited time to earn exclusive emotes. So we got the raid. Thank you so much. Um, who else has raided us? Um, let me see. All right, uh, Giga. All right, who else rated me? Grigor, uh, Mohammed. Great. Um, that's it, yeah. So, three more rounds to go, guys. Um, These uh, lords truly must be a pretty good player. Um, the ability to destroy a planet is insignificant compared with the power of the chat. <laughs> yeah, I mean. You guys remember the game called uh, Who Wants to Be Millionaire, right? And there was this option asking the audience for the answer, right? How many times the audience got, the audience got it right out of, um, let's say, hundreds, yeah? Hundred examples. Um, can you guys, do you guys know? I mean, I think audience is like almost always right, yeah? So chat can go wrong. Um... You play the, the Open of France, very, very good. If you have three good games, you could be top three. Thank you, Danmark Art, for the cheering. Watch you. Are you guys playing in this um, uh, Vandover uh, Open tournament? Thank you for your donation. Uh, thank you so much. Because um, part of the Wizards of the World was really close. Yeah, but remember, guys, at that time, there was no engines, right? I remember because um, Irina Crush. She was doing the uh, one of the commentary, right? Um, she was doing uh, the uh, advising for the world team. I actually remember that. Um, so we are... Uh, actually, who is this guy in the first place? He is from Romania, yeah? Who is this guy from Romania? A grandmaster. All right. He actually drew Hikaru with a 99% accuracy. Wow. Let's check this game out. I want to check this game out. Yeah, Naka prepared this line for his speed championship match. Ooh, I like this knight of five move, guys. Um, so Naka was probably lost here. I think he's lost, to be honest. What is this position? Um, he should be lost at some point. There's no way black is not lost here. Yeah, he's lost, right? Um, bishop d2 is correct. Um, bishop f7 is a blunder. Oh, he blundered rook e7 check. And rook takes f7 completely resigns immediately. That's what he blundered. Guys, do you see that? Naka was winning rook e7, right? Rook e7, rook f7, and uh, pfft, unbelievable. Yeah, 
I mean, the reason the, the machine set is 99% accuracy is because knight g7 is actually also takes a piece, yeah? So white also ends up with an extra piece, but it's just, you know, the wrong kind of piece. Rook e7, rook f7 is just game over completely. Okay, problem is played it. Mm. Yeah, I should not have taken so early in the form. Damn. Okay, black's worse. Black is worse. Fine.
It is equal. So I sent him a draw offer. It is equal, guys. He's not better anymore. He was better slightly, but uh, not anymore. I mean, look at the end here. 98. See? It's equal, yeah? Because he plays rook a1, then I play rook a8, and I pin him. If he, his knight moves, I play rook a8, I take over this file. So, in fact, uh, white has to be careful here. But I didn't, I, di I didn't want to press him uh, like this, because I think... You know, because after knight f7, I can play bishop e7, I can apply pressure on this pawn. Probably black can play for a win. Probably. But I, I don't feel like I can, I can squeeze it. Um, Alright. Morphe fan? Yes, I'm a big Morphe fan. Um... He missed the win with rookie seven. What? Minority no dance and they swing it. Result is crowd is right. Ah, I see. So we have a lot of mathematician in our chat. Yeah, you like his drinking abilities? <laughs> um, yes. Okay. If rook d8, when rook d8, probably. How do I lose the pawn? Which pawn? I do remember that one, uh, if he takes here, his knight is hanging, right? So he cannot really take this pawn because, because of this. But the white is better here, for sure. White is better, but... I mean, white was better the whole game. But um, once we, uh, we changed the queens, I think it became equal. Queen d6 is important, but after this trade, I think uh, this is uh, very, very equal. Because see, they drop the evaluation. He needs to have the queens on board. He really needs to have the queens on board to make this work. And b4 or king e2, they seem to be very good moves for him. I was planning to play rook d8 here. But then you can take... And now this looks better for white, yeah? Because you have this amazing bishop g5, bishop f6 transfer. Uh, how amazing is it? I don't know. Because you do have king of eight with idea rookie six, right? So, but then you have b4. Rookie six is impossible. Yeah, so we see uh, unpleasant position for black. Uh, very, very unpleasant position. I don't know if I can defend this, to be honest. Personally, I think I would play rook b8 here. And then go for the king here. And if b4, then b5. Ah, but then rook a6 wins. Yes, okay. So this is probably not good, yeah. All right, so white has a huge advantage in the uh, beginning. But here I misplayed it, yeah. Maybe a5 actually is the best move to prevent the pawns from getting out of b3. a5 is correct here. You have to make sure these pawns are stuck as weaknesses on b3. All right. You have to play a5, I agree. Because after b4... White is better here, and I completely misplayed it by taking it. I should have played queen d7, rook d8, rook e8, and preparing, you know, preparing all this nonsense, which is very standard in this position. Queen e6, right? And that's basically the game, right? So this is a slight advantage to white, but it's not something that I should be very, very concerned about. We have another Russian IM at the top. Remizov, which means um, the, the Remizov is the Russian wordplay on the draw master, which is Remi, right? Which is French. All right, let me focus and let me try not to lose against this IM because I have a feeling a lot of Russian players are very tricky guys. So we're gonna play very very solid chess. This is actually the second black in a row for me. Yeah, not quite lucky today. Um, thank you for your explanation and donation. Thank you so much. All right, what is this e4? Damn, can you really play chess like this for real? So if I take, 
Can I play knight d7? What's going on? I mean, he's get this nice hole on d4, right? That's where everybody is going. That little nice hole on d4. Looking forward to raiding it. I know that doesn't sound right, but I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired. Rating the holes is usually not what we do. Rating a holes. Yeah, you're trying to deny squares, but um, does it work? I don't know. Does it really work? Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Why did I play this stupid move? H5? My god, why did I play it? It's ridiculous. Jesus. Why the hell did I play it? I still want my knight on d4. Give me my knight on d4. Some room. Room for this knight. We need some room for this knight. I mean, black is maybe slightly better. He's not better now, but. Ouch. Yeah, I misplayed the same game. I'll give it to you guys. I misplayed it. Um, I mean, still black is okay. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the beautiful thing about this uh, kid chess is that you can misplay it, but you're still quite okay. But he is really pushing it. He is really pushing it. Um, he is really pushing it.
Well, that's a pawn, right? That's a pawn. Is it winning? It's probably not winning, but it's damn close. Will be bloody close. Rook c2 can trade this knight, but he might make a draw. I don't know. King b6 first, maybe. G4 going after this pawn, yes, okay. The end games, gentlemen, the end games is where you are stronger. Can we hear here the French defense? To avoid the line you showed? Alright, maybe. Grishuk uh, uh. was a candidate, come on. He was playing in the candidates uh, tournaments. Guys, come on. He played several times, I think. Thank you, Mr. Pierre. So, we are very, very behind. We are whole one point behind uh, Hikaru. But we are still in the top uh, 13, right? Wait. My god, guys, I'm in the top 6. Holy crap! Guys! I'm in the top 6. Oh my god. No shit. There is no freaking way. There is no freaking way I'm in the top 6. Oh my god. I'm in the top 6, gentlemen. Unbelievable. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I was like, maybe okay, top 10, top 13, yeah, but top 6, yeah, got lucky there. Jabava is 2, yes, um, that's nice, correct. Hi, it's JB. Hey, GG8825. Thanks, guys. Um, guys, I think today we have uh, two tournaments, yeah. Time to take down Hikaru. Come on, guys. He just he just became a speed uh, chess champion, right? Let's be realistic. I know we all want to win, but you have to be realistic sometimes. Yeah. Uh, besides, I have a, a terrible headache. Um, hopefully. Uh, you can knock off anyone. In one game, yes. But on consistent basis, probably not. In, but in one game, yes. I can probably beat anybody. If I'm in a good form, if I'm fast enough, if I see all the tactical stuff, if I see positional nuances, if I don't get in time trouble. That, uh, that is a lot of ifs, man. Uh, that is a lot of ifs. Um, 
The positive thing is that I'm playing... Uh, I'm not playing Hikaru because he's gonna play either Jabava or Parhamov uh, in the last round, right? Because they are ahead of me. So I'm probably gonna play... Um, so one of those guys is gonna play probably Turizaga, and, but I already played Anishuk. I already played Anishuk, so I'm gonna play either Iturizaga or I'm gonna play one of these top guys, right? The pawn grabbers are keeping me on my toes. That is correct, Mr. Brickskis. Uh, that is correct. Oh, I'm playing this guy. Alright. Uh, I'm playing the 99% uh, accuracy guy. Alright. And everybody is playing Dukis line. This is bloody amazing to me. Everybody is playing Dukis line. I don't know. This looks a little bit weird, um, but maybe it's correct. It does look a little bit weird. Hmm. <laughs> I gotta play something, right? I gotta play something. I 
gonna see it. Bad luck. Bad luck. time yeah my pawn. Damn it. Ninety three point percent accuracy from this guy, yeah. Too accurate. Where's this guy?
2625. All right, then. We get a benefit of a doubt. We get the benefit of the doubt. But I really doubt it. Yeah, he plays first line, okay. 85, queen d5, knight c4. Oh, he finds the knight of six, which is the first line move. After which he is advantage for black, yeah? This is the only move that gives uh, black advantage. Not so simple to find. I didn't see it. Alright, I didn't see this move, guys. I didn't see this move. Um... Knight of six, okay, first line. Knight a5, take knight d4, first line. So he plays first line moves, guys. That is a little bit suspicious for a 2600 player. Just a tiny bit, okay? It's a tiny bit suspicious. I mean, the moves are completely not obvious. Not obvious. A5 was played by himself. This is not the engine move. Which is why I thought it was not a great move. See, the advantage is getting less. Bishop d2 is a bad move, though. And he plays the first line move, which is rook fc8. And he finds the first line... Second line move. Alright, third line move. He finds the knight c3. This is very, very hard to see, guys. But okay, he finds all the stuff. That's fine. But okay, this is this was a draw. This is this is a draw. But I have no time, obviously. I have no time. Just play rook a2, keep the rooks on board. Probably is a draw. But this is very unpleasant. Yes, I agree. All right, but it's not realistic to defend this game against the youngster who plays much faster. Yeah, but the fact that he found the, the straight first line moves in this uh, period. Alright, no comment. No comment there. Alright. No comment. No comment. But just in case... I'm gonna do this. Not report, but yes. Because he was playing way too many first line moves for a 2600 player. Alright. Yes, I know he's a grandmaster and stuff and stuff, etc. etc. Do we have we have a national master from Russia with 2930 national master who is in the top 9 who played a lot of these guys right um I said I didn't said that he is cheating I didn't said that uh, he is suspicious much I said slightly yeah okay you see the difference Yes, I'm, in the, I'm not sure here. But I don't like the fact that he found all those queen c5, queen d5, knight f6, and then he found uh, the rook fc8 and bishop c3. He found all those moves. Yeah. I'm not sure 2600 should be able to find all that stuff. Um... Chabai was second place, second, third place, right? With Parhamov. Um, right.
Right, 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 guys. Okay, okay. As I said, I'll give him benefit of the doubt, yeah? I'm just gonna block the guy. It's not the first time that I'm losing to him, actually, I think. Can we do the search in here? Does it do the search? Uh, I'm not sure if it does. It. Can I see the my score against this guy? Where can I see the score against this guy? Well, he lost the previous game to Badur. But you guys, he plays a lot of 90% moves. Yeah, 97, 99, 98. This is the game where he played with 76, but the rest of the games are 98. For 2600, that is a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Just a tiny bit, okay? I want to see this game. Yeah. I think black is lost here. Let's do the analysis. I think black is absolutely lost at some points. Let's see it. Knight d5, bishop d5 first line, f5 first line. Okay, no comment, h4, maybe. F6 first line, H5 of course first line, G5 looks good. He forgot to play queen F4 first though, yeah. Okay. Bishop G5 is definitely the wrong move. Yeah, you had to play something like rook C1 or something, yeah. And now black is just better, yeah. Because white king is way too open. And black pieces are coming out like angry monsters. And he blunders bishop e3. Why is he blundering stuff in this game? You guys saw how well he played in my game. He saw all those tactics. And look at this guy. He's blundering all this stuff in, my, in, in this game, yeah? This is very inconsistent. Look at this. He's blundering everything. Plays rook c1 instead of queen g2. I mean, against me, he plays absolutely brilliantly, and then he loses this game against Shabal. Although he was much better. Inconsistency. Maybe because he's young or something. Alright, guys. Um, we're waiting for the second tournament. When is the second tournament? Yeah, I know, I know, but where's the second tournament? Is it going to be the second tournament? Anybody knows? Anybody knows when is the second tournament? Um, yeah, I mean, it's fine, yeah. I, I didn't have a bad tournament. Okay. Second tournament? Yes. Um, oh, it's the double prizes? Ah. It's a double prizes. Oh my god. So I really missed on a big price then. Yeah, next time I should not play London against um, youngsters because they play the, those crazy lines. Yeah, but I mean, how could I know that he memorized this line with, 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 uh, with black and he plays so correctly? Guys, you know, when you're not prepared, you play Blitz game. You know, and then you find this sequence of queen takes c5, queen takes d5, and knight of 6. Right? Do you know how hard it is to find this, this sequence in the Blitz game when you're not prepared? Unless unless you know this line before. This is very, very hard. This is very hard to, to find. Very hard to find. Yes, we should probably check that. Uh, so somebody check if he plays this line before. Maybe he did. 
Yeah. So maybe he knew this, but I'll analyze this, yeah. Alright, so Duke's line is going strong against London system, guys. It looks like Queen B6, Queen takes B2 is really is really working really well for Black right now. I'll have to check. What can I play? Against this line because it's starting to get real annoying. A lot of people playing it. Yeah, and they're playing it for a win with black because, you know, I sacrifice a pawn if black defends like a computer, right? Then he wins, obviously, because he has extra pawn. Yeah, so this line is um, is actually good in the... It's, it's better to play in over-the-board tournament game because then... And when you know your opponent does not prepare, yeah, for this line, when he's not prepared. Then it's good to play this. But if you know he is prepared, if you know he is doing this, uh, then yeah. All right. Um, all right, guys. So um, sorry for the short stream. I'm pretty tired today. Where are we going to go? We're going to go on Twitch and we're going to raid someone. And uh, let's not forget, we actually have um, a, a, a stream battle against Fianchetta, right? No, we're not going to Hikaru's channel. No, we're not going there. Alright, who should we raid, gentlemen? We should probably raid Anna, yeah. Why not? And now you gentlemen like quality chess. I don't know. Wait a second. I'm not sure. Yeah, next time we'll raid Badur for sure, guys. Next time, okay? Thank you, Mr. Pierre um, Bezuchov. It's the name of Mira, right? Bezuchov, I think. Or who was there? Everything I got a raid! Got a Kamsky! It's raiding and I really appreciate it, but I got the worst position ever and I don't think you want to see that after playing, after seeing a, a you know, a player like Got a Kamsky uh, playing. I don't think you want to see this. So, yeah. Um, I, you know what? I'm just going to play some 3 plus 2. That's going to be the way that I do this. That's going to be the way we get back our raiding points. But thank you so much, Got a Kamsky, for the raid! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope that you. I hope that. <laughs> yes, I know, Chanko. But that's true, that's true. Good night, hope you had a wonderful stream, and if you've been entitled to say I hope that that was your